Welcome back, friends. Today, I'm going to show you how I created this um, comic book text effect. So stay tuned. So welcome back. I'm starting off with a workspace the size of a YouTube thumbnail. It is 1280 pixels by 720 pixels. And I'm going to straight away go to my apps. I'm going to go to apps on my left side, and I'm going to search for an app called Type Gradient. This is what it looks like. And when we open it up, the first thing that we're going to get is we're going to get a section right at the top for main text. And in here, we just type in what our text um, is supposed to say. So I'm just going to um, delete what's there and I'll type in there comic book, sorry, in all caps, comic book. And then get a preview of what it's gonna look like down in this preview window. But before we get there, we're just gonna go to font and we're gonna change the font because we do have an option to change uh, fonts, which is really, really super cool. So I'm gonna click that. And in the search box, I'm going to use a font called Bangers. This is what it looks like. So I'm just going to click it and I'm going to go back. And again, we're seeing a preview of what it's going to look like. Now, um, from here to here, there's a couple of other options that are available. I'm going to set my alignment at left. Um, if you have more than one line, you know, you can choose between left centered and right aligned, but left is going to um, serve me just perfect. Line height doesn't matter because I only have one line of text and we also have gradient. And this is the meats and potatoes of our outcome, the outcome that we want our text to have. So we're going to start off with the first one and that's it's it's going to change the gradient from the top to the bottom. So I'm going to change the first one to a yellow color. So I'm just going to come here and I'm going to try and change it to a um, bright yellow like that. I'll click on the second one and I'm going to make it a slightly um, less uh, between an orange and a yellow like that and I'll click the third one and the third one I'm going to make a bright orange like that okay and once you're done you can just click outside and then you'll see a preview of how that's going to look now you'll notice in the preview that you're going to have two circles and that controls the angle and the direction of the gradient, but we don't need to change that because we want the bottom to have like an orange glow and then um, above that have that yellow. So I'm just fine with leaving it like that. So I'm gonna leave that and I'm gonna add that to my design. All right, so we have the first part of our design ready. Now I'm sorry if I'm a little chatty, um, I like to explain what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. So my tutorials do tend to be a little bit longer than the normal person because I like to explain what I'm doing. So hang in there. Um, I promise by the time we're finished, it, this is going to be well worth um, your wait watching um, all the way through this tutorial. The next part, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my elements and I'm going to search for dots and I'm going to add another page and I'll just search for dots and what I'm looking for is kind of like a pattern so I want a, a graphic and I'm going to use this and I'm just going to turn this around like this and I'm going to bring it down here now I can't use this in the next step because it needs to be a photo. We're going to use font frame next. So I kind of need to make my own um, photo. So I'm going to put three panels going um, all the way across my page. Before I do, I'm just going to make it black. Both sections black uh, are both options. So 
Um, that's my first one. I'm going to take a copy and just put it um, beside my first copy like that. And I'll make another duplicate and we'll leave it like that. Okay, this is perfect. What we're going to do now, and if we do want, you can center it, um, of course. And what we'll do now is we're just going to download this part so that we can make it an actual image. So I am downloading page two. I'm downloading it as a PNG, PNG. Now, when you're downloading this image, make sure that you are downloading it as a transparent image. Uh, that's very, very important. So I'm going to download this image now. And there it is. So I'm going to add another page. And I'm going to use another app called Font Frame. So I'll go up to Apps and search for Font Frame. Here it is. And when we first open up Font Frame, we'll have this word in here called Hello World. Um, we'll have a section for image and text, and there'll be a section for settings. We're going to choose the file that I just downloaded, which is right here. So I'll open that up and um, there'll be an option to scale the image if you want to do that. There'll be an option down here to change the text, which we're going to change that to comic book. Now, if we scoot over up back to the top and go over to settings, we'll also have the option to choose a font. And in here, I'm going to search for the same font that I used for the first word, which is right here. So as you can see now, the fonts are kind of matching. And um, we're going to make sure that we're all using the left alignment. And I'm going to toggle the thickness. I'm going to make it a little um, less thick. So I'm just going to change that to 15. The letter spacing, I'm also going to change that to 40. And you may have to, you know, play with the letter spacing to make sure that the letters are spaced um, as evenly as they are in the first word. It's just a little bit of trial and error, but it's easy to do. Um, and then there's a line spacing. We don't need to worry about line spacing because we only have one line. Now, if we click up here, we have the option to move that uh, image. So if you want more dots, you can have more dots. If you want it less diffused, you can also have it less diffused. So that's totally up to you. Just make sure that your image is transparent. So once we are happy with our um, the way our text looks, we can add it to our workspace. So I'm going to go back up to our first page where I had the first word and I'm now going to click Add to Design. So here it is. And what I'll do now is I'm just going to try and uh, match it up on top of that first word. OK, and there we have our result right there. So what do you think, guys? Is this a yes or a no? Um, let me know in the comments and if there's anything else you want to learn or you want a video on, uh, please leave that in the comments as well. If you learned anything in this tutorial, please press the like button and subscribe and check out my YouTube channel membership levels. There's a level for everyone. For now, my friends, I will say bye bye until next time.